Hey guys, welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. I'm your host, Ashley, and in today's lingo lesson, we're going to talk about a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee is something you might hear mentioned by broadcasters or in articles about a call-up, and basically all it means is it's a short stint for a prospect or a minor league player coming up to the major league level. And the reason it's called a cup of coffee is because it is such a short stint, it's meant to mean that that player has only had about enough time in the major leagues to have a cup of coffee. And there are a few reasons you might call a player up for such a short period of time. The most common being that that player will take the place of somebody else who's on the injured list, and then they'll go back down to the minor leagues once that player has returned. Earned. Another reason they might come up is that the major league club wants to see them play at the big league level. So they're kind of giving them a test at that major league level to see how they do against other major league players. And if somebody has had multiple stints at that major league level, very short periods of time over multiple times, they might be referred to as having sips of coffee. The term is also used in the NHL because both NHL and MLB use farm systems. What's really sad about this is that for some minor league players, that cup of coffee may end up being the only period of time they ever spend at at a major league level because it's an unfortunate risk of all minor league players that they may never make it to the major league level. In fact, only about 12% of minor league players make it at a major league level. That sip of coffee might end up being the only time they ever really get to play at a major league level. One really famous example of a cup of coffee is Moonlight Graham, who played for the 1905 New York Giants. He only appeared in one game for two innings and never had an at-bat. He only played defensively in the field. Ultimately, he ended up quitting baseball and going on to become a doctor, but he became quite famous because he was a character written into Shoeless Joe, the book that ultimately became the basis for Field of Dreams. His character did appear in Field of Dreams, although the history of him was kind of muddled and not exactly correct, but he is probably one of the more famous examples of a cup of coffee historically. So in a nutshell, that's a cup of coffee in baseball. So hope you enjoyed this lingo lesson. Remember to hit subscribe and ring that bell to be notified every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when a new episode goes live. And always feel free to leave a comment down below. Also remember to follow me on social media where I'm at 90 feet from home everywhere on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we'll catch you guys again in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye!